I might as well just start things up. At the very beginning, I'm going to start by playing the very first game that I ended up playing into my entire lifetime. So anyway, yeah, we're going to play a good old classic. We're gonna play Mat Adventure because that was essentially the very first game that I ended up playing. This was like in school computers back when I was like in elementary school and such. So hey, that's essentially how I learn how to read and a whole lot of stuff. So yep, let's do Matt in the good old medieval style. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I definitely do not miss these very, very big things. Just yikes. There we go. Adventures in math. <laughs> yeah, this is so blue, and if you wanted to, you could change the colors, but let's not fiddle with that. All right. Yay, I can write my name, so all right. We can choose whether we want a small, medium, or large castle. It doesn't really change anything on whatever uh, the game plays and such, so let's go with medium. Oh, all right. So now, what kind of problems are we gonna solve? How about all of them? Uh, okay, so what the hell happened there? I kind of did not see what happened. It just something kind of happened and hey. So yeah, essentially this is a, an, an adventure game in first person. But in order to solve all of your problems, you have to do this with the power of math. Yeah, look at that, a bag of treasures. Oh, but with that said, it's way harder to get treasure. You gotta count a whole lot better. Oh, oops. All right. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's such a friendly game. It's just, there's no creatures or anything, trap doors or whatever. So you just kinda do everything. So, okay. I think that's three. Yay, a lingo. Uh, oh my god, I, I don't think I am ready in order to do that. Okay. Oh, gold. I'm sorry, but that was not actually gold. But yeah, even for such an old game, the game actually doesn't try to get you lost or something because, hey, you've been here before. So, yeah. Uh, oops. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, now this is where things actually start becoming a little bit more difficult. So, by the way, I'm not doing this with a phone or whatever. We gotta play this hardcore. Oh boy, um, okay, hold on a bit. I think in order to actually be able to do something with this particular riddle, we're gonna need some help because, oh boy, I don't think uh, I'm gonna solve this uh, without any kind of external help or whatever. So, all right, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get my very sophisticated tool in order to actually count so all right hold on a bit uh, in order to make the experience as authentic as possible let's actually do this old school i kind of don't remember myself how to do it so all right it's probably gonna be kind of a doozy i remember maybe how to do it but yeah it's just uh, maybe a little hunch it's just how did that start Go again, I kind of forgot, fuck. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, 729. If I remember correctly, I think you needed to start with the very last digit and everything. So 7 divided... Oh my god, I, f I don't remember how to do this. My god. Ah. <laughs> And I knew how to do this, but now I have completely lost it all. Fuck. It's just... Hold on a bit. I think I need some warm-up or something. It's just... Let's do it the simpler way in order to remember how it works. It's like... Okay. You take this thing over here. Okay, two. Then you had four. Okay. I think it's the way that it is. So... Mm hmm so 7-2, okay, so 7-2, it's gonna be 27-54, okay, so I think it's gonna be 2, 
minus 54. That said, it's kind of shitty to make equations that are that big into such a program or something. It's just, my god. Who could actually do this kind of subtraction without any kind of tool? Now, are we actually even able to solve this? So, is this like 27? 27 that? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. This is absolutely going nowhere really fast. I gotta make sure that I truly did not fuck it up. Oh, okay. No, that was indeed uh, what I had to do. So, alright. 27, because 27... Like this? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so alright, let's uh, go. We actually got the solution. It's 27. My god, this is like the hardest thing. Oh my god, stop it with the big division! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, but children are not gonna play the game with like uh, nothing but the calculations or whatever, just... No. Uh, that is absolutely not teaching anything. So, all right, 28, there we go, 1, 28, 1, 1. Uh, okay, so now, mm, 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 it's 4. Okay, 14. <laughs> Here's a hint, it's not 28. <laughs> uh, wait, where did it? Where am I going? Oh, okay. I think I just eventually figured out. Oh my god, another division? Okay, uh, whoops. That is absolutely not how we're going to do a division sign. So, all right. 5 by 32 divided by 7. <laughs> okay, so now... Okay... 7, okay, 7 by 7, 49, so now that means 2, 4, 42, 76. At this point, I spent more time in paint than in the actual game, just yikes. Ah, finally, something that I can do! <gasps> Woo! Okay, 65. Okay. Okay, yeah, so far all that I've had is like additions and uh, division. Did I truly just have the proper thing or did I just make that up all along? So, all right, it's 6, 1, 1. Uh, oh, go. <laughs> the PC speaker definitely squealed in pain here. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, Ah, okay, there we go. I kind of got lost for a second. Oh, all right, there we go. Now it's time for a change of pace. Now it's time for multiplications. Now let's do it the way that we were learned to do it. So, all right. So, zero, zero times three equals zero, and, z and six times three equal like this. And now 0 times 1 equals 0, 6, 1 equals 6, so now you take that, uh, yeah, uh, uh oh, <laughs> hold on a bit, I definitely fucked up a whole bunch, alright, yeah, there we go, alright. <laughs> I'm just too bad that pretty much all of the video is gonna be really squashed out, but that's because I have to keep him his paint. At this point, I'm just teaching people how to do basic maths now. <laughs> but yeah, in overall, it's such a quiet game. Oh, all right, I think, however... Okay, 150, 225. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, pff, no, you know what? I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like actually counting or whatever. So, all right, three twenty-two times eighty-four. Now we have to go. 
All right, we heat one over here, 12, this way, 2, 11, 1, 3, 2, 38. Yeah, I write really badly, but hey, you have to experience the same pain that my teachers back in the high school had. But yeah, just like, I don't know, I just don't feel that the the way that the game works and everything, it gives off really a good way in order to do this thing like mentally. I'm sorry, but you just cannot do any of this stuff if you're trying to do this off your head without any kind of paper. You need that a paper clip. <laughs> ah, good old PC speaker. You don't know what to do and that's the way I love you. Well, that's not the, the way that we were doing it, but yeah. Let's just pretend this over here is a sheet of paper. Because, well, how else are you gonna relive your glory days? But yeah, it's time nine, we can't, so we just gotta go eat up this thing over here. 18 minus nine is nine, two minus one is one. 195. <laughs> Oh my god, stop it with the divisions! <laughs> my god, this game is kind of not good. Back when we were children, we definitely had bad taste. So, alright, 33, it's gonna be 4, minus 32, 1, 6, and 2, 42. Like that one number. Uh, yeah, we had one multiplication problem. A single one. Oh, alright, a branching path. Oh, okay, 75 divided by 5, it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, people were lamenting the lack of multiplications. Well, here we go. <gasps> alright. 48 div, uh, times 18. So 8 times 8 equals 64. You put a 6 over there, and now it's. Uh, wait. Was that how it worked? I kind of forgot. I think it's now 10 times 8. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to proof check myself after that. <laughs> or was it that 4 times 8 plus this? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm learning so much about math. I'm glad. And myself included, because now I'm completely stumped by this. I think it's plus this. So it's 8, four, eight times 4, 32, 32 plus 6, 38. Okay, I think that's how it is. Now 8 times 1, 8. Now 4, 1. Now it's gonna be four, six. Okay. Does that sound any remotely plausible? Eight, uh, okay. That was 48 times 18. Aha, there we go. I was totally right. Okay, so I do remember how my basic mathematics work. Yeah, that's why I decided to play this game first. Everybody was in need for a mathematic clinic. Oh, all right, here's one that should not be too difficult to do for a change. So, all right, eight plus six, four, eight plus six, nine plus six, five. Okay, four, five. Okay, four, five, five. Alright, another multiplication incoming. Everybody, get your noggins going. It's time for 12.38. Uh, oops, I definitely put this on the worst place possible. But 1 time 8, 9, 2, 6, and 3, 6, and 5, and 4.
Well, <laughs> this game needs to throw a curveball of like binary number values. I'm sorry, but I don't think children of elementary school are ready for f any of that. <laughs> Okay, uh, ah. it's just because of that one at the bit. This is what is actually throwing me off like a freaking buffoon. All right, you know what? You win, game. I'm definitely going to do it the long-winded way. We're 81. Gonna be 9. 4 times 8. This. Okay, 14 times 8. 6, 6. Oh my god, I can barely r read my own scribbles. At this point, if I post this on YouTube, everybody is just gonna make fun of my <laughs> she and writing. <laughs> hey, it's good whenever you get problems that don't require any handwriting. Yeah, don't worry, there's no fractions in this game. This is only math problems up to grade 4. So, yep, at the very least, we are safe from madness. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, so now, n I mean, at this point, this is starting to be a little difficult to do mentally, so hey, that's what a good old sheet of paper is here for. So, 13 times 8, 5, 8 over here, you put 1 here, 6, and 5, alright. Okay, and here we go for yet another subtraction. Just like I don't know, after after you finally get the gist of how this thing works, it do get pretty easy after a while, but yeah, never underestimate the ability of memory to forget how any of this works. Yep, yeah, big number annoyance, you're just gonna make the game artificially harder. Okay. That's it, however, that's kind of a big castle now. Okay. 34 times 6, 4 times 2, 204. Ah, okay, there we go. Now 0, 13. I don't want treasure, I just want an exit out of the big uh, number hell at this point, because that's literally what all of these problems have boiled to. Yeah, just like... Okay, 2 times 7, 14, 1, 3 times 7, 21, 22, 2 times 2 is 4, and 6, so 4, 6, 8. Uh, oops, that's right. It's kind of, it's definitely is not gonna work if I try to pop out my chat if I want to go back to the game. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right, the exit. Oh, <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Uh, oh. <laughs> So yeah, congratulations, your final score was 43,000, I don't even know what scores that is supposed to be. Oh, I'm not even on the high scores. Damn you, the ultimate Matt Wiz, you goddamn freaking uh, buttopat. And now I'm pretty sure it's just like at this point... I never found out how you were even supposed to quit this game, but hey, here we go. If you press the function key, you can change the look of the game. So, yay, you can change the colors of the background if you wanted to. But uh, how do you leave? I never figured out. So the only way to do so will be to uh, kill those box and just restart. <laughs> yep, good old uh, EGA tablet. So yeah, anyway, that was Matt Adventure. I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, walk back onto the good old memory lane.